from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, March the 8th, 2021. The IDF tweeted of two reported attempted attacks in the West Bank. This morning, it said a Palestinian assailant armed with a knife reportedly infiltrated Ste Ephraim Farm and attempted to stab an Israeli civilian. The assailant was neutralized and security forces are operating in the area. Later reports said the assailant was a woman and that she was subdued but not hurt by residents of the farm and held until the IDF arrived. And yesterday, the IDF wrote that overnight, an assailant attempted to stab an IDF soldier operating in Tubas, which is northeast of Nablus. The soldier was lightly wounded in the incident and treated at the scene. The assailant there was neutralized as well, reportedly shot and injured. And the IDF shared photos of its Air Force jets escorting two American jets through Israeli airspace yesterday. Video as well shows how Israeli F-15 fighter jets accompanied two American B-52 bombers through Israeli airspace, an apparent show of force by the United States against Iran. Each B-52 was accompanied by four Israeli jets. The Times of Israel cites the U.S. military saying, without making any mention of Iran, that the patrol flight was meant to deter aggression and reassure partners and allies of the U.S. military's commitment to security in the region. The IDF tweeted this flight is part of the joint strategic cooperation with U.S. forces, which is pivotal in maintaining the security of Israeli and Middle Eastern skies. Israel vaccinated its 5 millionth citizen today as its coronavirus vaccination campaign rolls on. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was on hand for the milestone in Petah Tikva. The Prime Minister also said he was hopeful that Israel's entire adult population would be inoculated by the end of April. And after a slight delay, Israel's vaccination campaign for some 120,000 Palestinians who legally work in Israel or West Bank settlements got underway today at checkpoints and industrial zones across the West Bank. The shots were administered by Magen David Adom, operating as the executive arm of Israel's health ministry. Jewish Argentine tennis star Diego Schwartzman celebrated a long coveted win this weekend. The 28 year old won the Argentina Open yesterday for the first time. He was brought to tears after the match in Buenos Aires, which is the city of his birth and childhood. Schwartzman told ATPTour.com that it was amazing to have his friends and family all there watching him play. Schwartzman said, I haven't words, just emotion and happiness. Britain's top Jewish book award for this year has been given to an Israeli writer. The UK's Jewish News reports that Yaniv Itzkovitz's novel The Slaughterman's Daughter won the 2021 Wingate Literary Prize, announced in a virtual ceremony last night. Chair of Judges Rabbi Janner Klausner said the judges were unanimous in their decision, calling the historical novel, which takes place in the shtetls of 19th century Eastern Europe, epic literature. Saying in a post-Holocaust world, reading a book about Jewish shtetl life, which is at the same time funny, shocking, and entrancing, enables someone who is not Jewish to understand so much of what makes us tick. Iskovitz said that winning was a true honor and a joy. He said, it's not an idea that made me write this book, but rather my Jewish roots, which are located in several places on this globe. I wanted to tell a story about a lost world, but I realized that nothing is really lost. Well, today, March the 8th, is International Women's Day. And on the occasion, Israel's President Reuven Rivlin shared photos from the president's residence in Jerusalem today with the opening, he tweeted, of an art exhibition from Studio of Her Own, a joint project of Israeli women artists from across our society, he wrote. 
The American Jewish Committee shared a video celebrating Jewish women who have transformed the course of history, including Emma Lazarus, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Golda Meir. And we have special programming here on JBS for International Women's Day. At 7.30 tonight, it's a program from the World Jewish Congress in partnership with Israel's Ministry of Diaspora Affairs, bringing together Jewish women spiritual leaders from across the religious spectrum and around the globe for an online forum called Women in Contemporary Judaism, Jewish Unity and Religious Diversity, celebrating the diversity of opinions among and acknowledge the challenges faced by Jewish women as well as address how to best meet these challenges going forward. In other programming at 7, it's the wisdom of Dr. Ruth. At 9 tonight, filmmaker Paula Eisel talks about her documentary, 93 Queen, on L'Chaim. At 10, it's a look at the films of Mel Brooks. And coming up next, Shahar Azani speaks with Samson Giat, former head of the Yemenite American Jewish Federation, about the Israeli government's decision to pay reparations for the families of missing Mizrahi, Yemenite, and Balkan children. A story from the first days of the State of Israel. And that's the JBS News Update for Monday, March the 8th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.